there is a man who haunts the forest that abuses our young plants with carving Rosalind on their bodies. Hangs over to one and edges on brambles, all for soon deifying the name of Rosalind. I thought it was a joke. I thought somebody's pulling my leg. I thought I can't do it. My husband said, yes, you can. You can do this. And I thought, oh, really, I'm going to be embarrassing. They're going to have to wheel me off to hospital halfway through rehearsal. And I sort of feel stronger and stronger as we've, we've gone on. I'm fitter than I've been for weeks, months. So bring it on. I mean, I just say, yes, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Am I the man yet? Doth my simple feature content you? Your features? <laughs> Lord, warn us! <laughs> what features? I am here with thee and thy goats, as the most capricious poet, honest Albert, was among the Goths. <laughs> what the hell is young love? Uh, it's love, isn't it? And you can be young, uh, regardless of the age that you have on your ID, on your passport. Uh, so young is a state of mind, is not something that is biological. Um, so I don't see it as an age-blind cast. Uh, we, we have a narrative that often kind of puts age as something that is a burden. Uh, it is something that is tolerated rather than embraced. Uh, I feel Often we, uh, we separate ourselves uh, from the experience and the life of, of our elderly. I pray the gods make me honest. And I hope that by seeing a play like this, people will go, oh, those people are all over 70, nearly all apart from the young ones. Those people are mostly over 70 and they're playing energy, they're playing attractive, they're playing wit, they're playing comedy, they're, uh, they look okay, um, you know, and maybe that'll shift and people will, will ask older people to, to play younger parts again and I really hope they do. I uh, pretty, what is the clock? You should ask me the time of day, there's no clock in the forest. 